Hello boys and girls, happy sleepy Saturday. Um, got a few things here. I have no idea what they could be, but we're gonna find out. So this first one is uh, from Bedminster, New Jersey. What is it? It is Bad Teacher um, with the slipcover, which now I remembered seeing this film um, with my now ex-fiance a little while ago. And I rem I had never seen it before that. I didn't know if I would like it or not. And I thought it was pretty darn good. Like, I thought, um, I like it when actors, they're willing to do, like, very... I, I think some of the reviews had called the performance really uh, brazen. And, yeah, that, that didn't hurt anything either. Um, but, yeah, they called the performance really brazen and very um, f daring for Cameron Diaz. And I would agree with that. Which that does get me, um, you know, that gets me respect for her because I like it when actors take risks and they play roles that they don't normally uh, get to play. And, um, you know, I thought that her character in here was so kind of refreshingly shallow and unlikable for a comedy and uh, kind of unapologetically so. And it was like, hey, look at that. That's a nice change of pace. And Justin Timberlake was funny in this. It had a good supporting cast. Jason Siegel was good in that. Um, but again, trying to do more with comedies. Um, now this one is uh, Royal Mail. So again, from the UK. And I have an idea of what this might be, but we'll get, we're gonna find out. Um, yeah, with the UK, it's like, it's kind of a crapshoot as far as when certain things are gonna arrive. Ah, yes, okay. So this is, um, the first of what will hopefully be many of these. Um, but so this is the 4K um, Studio Canal, sti uh, not Steelbook, 4K of Escape from New York. Studio Canal, they actually released um, like four um, John Carpenter films in the UK in 4K that have not been released here in the United States, and this is one of them. Uh, this does have a screen factory, but again, not in 4K, and so that's why I thought, oh, you know, go ahead and get this. And plus, comes with the slipcover. The um, the artwork is really cool. Um, it's on par, I think, with the screen factory artwork. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just kind of neat to get something that's a little bit off the beaten track in terms of which edition you get. Um, but yeah, so we've got our... Um, 4k disc and we've got uh yeah there we go 4k disc we got all kinds of cool stuff and uh, now there were um i think there were like four uh, f there was a four disc like big box version of this and the other ones they're super expensive and hard to find now and the only things that they came with that were extra in terms of the disc like they came with some postcards and stuff but like the things that made them different was like the fourth disc was the soundtrack, except that I have the soundtrack already and I have the soundtracks um, for the other films that I got. Uh, so it's not like a huge loss. And plus this can fit on the shelf and everything. But um, yeah, Escape from New York, the Studio Canal 4K version. And let's see what else we got. This one's from the Woodlands, Texas. Very descriptive. Which woodlands are they? Just the woodlands. We don't know. I hate it when you have place names like that, that they're, they're so non-specific that it could be anything, you know? And, uh, and then you have the weird names like Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. All right. Um, now this one, I ordered this relatively recently and it must have come here pretty fast, but it's that, um, Red Riding Hood film with, uh, Amanda Seyfried. Um, it costs like maybe four bucks total. Um, and it with the lenticular slip cover here never seen it, but um, I do like it, it's funny like Amanda Seyfried when she first kind of arose on the scene I remember like I saw her in Mamma Mia first, but she also was in um, Big Love, you know that HBO show she was in uh, some other things before that that I didn't see until later but when I saw her in Mamma Mia, I you know, I didn't really know quite what to make of her because I I mean, the acting in that film was really... I don't think it did anybody any favors, but I've seen her in other things since then, and I thought she was quite good, especially... Um, she was good in Chloe. She was good in um, uh, 
the um, very criminally underrated uh, First Reformed. I thought that was an amazing film. I wish she'd have gotten more praise for that because she did a great job along with Ethan Hawke. Um, but yeah, so this is her with um, Red Riding Hood, cool lenticular slipcover, um, and I guess it was the same director as the first Twilight film, Catherine Hardwick. Um, and she did something else that I can't remember what it was, but yeah, anyway. So yeah, looking forward to that. It's just always cool to see something kind of off the beaten track that happens to have a lenticular cover. Um, this one's from L Later Field, uh, Kentucky, I think. It's hard to make it out. Um, oh yeah, and this one, this is a film that I used to have. Um, don't, didn't have it, and then now I've got it back, which is a very underrated film, The Possession, from 2012. It's got, um, uh, what's his face, Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Kira Sedgwick in here. Um, and this one's a really, really refreshing possession movie because it is about a Dibbuk box, which is from, uh, Jewish folklore, and it, uh, it's different from all of the various, uh, Roman Catholic, uh, possession films that you see, which, um, you know, obviously, um, exorcism has quite the history in the Catholic Church, but, you know, there are other exorcism rites in other religions, uh, other Abrahamic religions, and this is a good one that um, shows that, but it's also got solid acting. The girl who gets possessed, she's really good in it. Um, I, I like Jeffrey Dean Morgan quite a lot and Kira Sedgwick quite a lot. I don't think that they get as much praise as they should get. Um, but yeah, this is a really good, different kind of possession movie. Now, this one does not have the slip cover, but the slip cover's coming separately. And we got another one that is uh, seemingly uh, Royal Mail. Um, and uh, I think it is. Actually, wait, no, I think it says Canada, CN22, so, and it has the French in there, so I think it's from Canada, but the stamp uh, looks like uh, the Queen, so, you know, that's what threw me off there. Okay. Um, I'm surprised that this came really quickly. Okay, I think I know what this is. Um, I think it, this was supposed to have come from either England or, it must be England because the stamp is pounds, um, British pounds, but um, this particular film here, which I'm just, I'm opening it up right now, uh, but this particular film, this is the German release of it, um, and it is, uh, the American title of it was uh, Muck, but in Germany, it must have gone by a different title. It was another deadly weekend. And, um, you know, I, I think that both, you know, they're serviceable titles. I think another deadly weekend has a little bit more, you know, there's a little bit more to it, I guess, than, um, you know, Muck, which Muck is just sort of like, that's a very kind of, I guess, unsexy, uh, you know, way to describe it. But yeah, this is the you know, German version of it, and it does have a reversible cover in there, but I'm trying to figure out if it's, what about it is reversible, like what the difference is, um, I'll figure it out, but yeah, the cover of this one as opposed to the other one, uh, the other one is just like a girl, and it's all like, she's like, you know, that, and it's all, um, kind of brownish, and not all that interesting, um, and again, it's muck, it's like, who cares about muck, but you know, Another Deadly Weekend, it does tell you what it's about, and plus, you know, let's just say that the, uh, the buns are fresh out of the oven, so, you know, that alone makes it worth it. Um, and then we got one more from, uh, Middlebury Heights, Ohio. Um, and I don't know what this could be. We're gonna find out. But yeah, some things that, um, I didn't necessarily expect to arrive this quickly did arrive, and that's, that's always nice whenever that happens. But like that Escape from New York, that took about a month, which again is from the UK, so it doesn't really surprise me. The other, um, Another Deadly Weekend, that one, I'm surprised that it came as relatively quickly as it did, because it didn't give me a shipping update or anything. Um, but, you know, at any rate, just because it doesn't have a shipping update doesn't mean that, you know, it's a lost cause or anything. So this one here, ah yes, okay. So this one is a, this is the limited four disc edition of a 
Troma and Astron 6 um, collaboration film called Father's Day, and it's a Canadian kind of exploitation action film. This one I got with the slipcover. It's a limited edition, as you can see, only 5,000. Um, some more buns fresh out of the oven there. But um, yeah, this one I used to have, I had it without the slipcover. I, I bought it off of eBay. This was like months ago. I bought it thinking it came with it, but it didn't. And um, so that's when I learned my lesson, which is that if you're a, a um, slipcover psychopath like me, you gotta actually see the picture that shows that it comes with the slipcover. But like, that's a beautiful slipcover. And then like the version that I had before looks like this. And it's like, eh, it's it's just not all that, um, it's just not all that amazing. But um, yeah, on the inside here, we've got the film, we have, uh, it's like four discs, DVD, got the soundtrack, you know, got all kinds of good stuff on there. And yeah, that, um, it was, uh, Astron 6, they're a team of, like, six filmmakers from Canada, and then they did a, uh, you know, they did a collaboration here with, uh, I believe Lloyd Kaufman was a producer on this film, um, and had a cameo in it. Um, but yeah, this particular edition is a limited edition and it'll go great on the shelf I'm trying to get some of those more obscure trauma films back um because there are some good ones on there and you know it's just it's just good stuff you know it was made for not very much money but i think that it had pretty decent roi relative to you know a, a trauma film to a trauma film and a indie canadian horror horror action exploitation film but yeah again beautiful artwork i wish that more films uh, got back to illustrated posters instead of just kind of crappy Photoshop. But anyway, uh, that seems to be it for today. Got a decent spread here. Um, you know, got some stuff that's off the beaten track, which is about how we like it around these parts. Um, but yeah, so anyway, uh, hopefully you're all keeping safe out there in this crazy world. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, uh, like, share, Set phasers to stun warp factor 5, wear your apocalypse mask if you're going outside, and uh, just don't be stupid. That's always a good motto to live by. It's like that line in the office, you know, what is the most important thing I've ever said to you? Don't be an idiot. Change my life. Whenever I'm about to do something, I think, would an idiot do that? And if they would, I do not do that thing. Very wise words indeed. Um, so yeah, just don't be stupid, and I'll see you in the next video.